Hi DIYers, this is Frank at Alarm Grid, and we're back in the Alarm Grid lab. We're working again with the Vista keypads, specifically the 6160 RF, and uh, that's connected to our Vista 21 IP. Okay, we're going to work today on programming the 5811 wireless door window contact. So this is a slimline uh, door window sensor that has, it's a surface mount contact, and there's a magnet included has to be within a half an inch of the contact, which is the larger unit with the battery in it. And the magnet usually goes on the moving part, the door or the window, and the, the larger uh, contact itself would actually go onto the uh, window frame or the door jam. Uh, in some cases where you can't fit it, that's fine. You can put it uh, on the door if you need to or the window. Uh, just keep in mind, you shouldn't really slam those windows or doors because over time that can jostle the electronics in here and damage it. So um, you want to always have the magnet within the two, um, the two tabs here uh, because that's where the read switch is inside the case. So uh, on the back side we have the seven digit serial number and we'll go ahead and use that to program the sensor in the star 56 zone programming submenu on the 6160 RF today. So the first thing you need to do is address your keypad and enable the RF receiver. Once that's enabled, which we've already done in another video, uh, we can pop into programming and program the zone. So uh, we're going to enter our installer code, which is 4112, followed by 800. Again, if you have a different installer code, you just enter that here. We're using the default on ours. It'll say installer code 20. That, uh, that lets you know that you made it into programming. If you do not see that, then you're not using the right code. You can use the backdoor method if you need to. We have another video on our channel with that. Uh, but for now, we will just assume that you do have your installer code and move forward. Uh, so the programming menu to do any, any zone programming at all will be the star 56 zone programming menu. Okay. So this is basically uh, if you need to add any wired or wireless sensors, you're going to get into this sub menu. Now it's required to use an alphanumeric keypad. Okay, so that means any 6160 series, uh, whether it be the V, RF, or uh, the 62, or the 62 RF, any of those keypads will allow you to get into the Star 56 menu. Uh, technically, you can get into the, the Star 56 submenu on the fixed English keypads, but you will not be able to see anything. Hence, we don't recommend it, and you really shouldn't do it. So if you need to program a zone, uh, especially a wireless zone, we usually recommend using the 6160 RF keypad. If you only have touchscreen display keypads, um, you know, same thing. Really, you want to be in the habit of using a 6160 keypad. So uh, we'll assume you have all that, and we'll move forward. When you first enter star 56, it's going to say set to confirm. You can just go ahead and hit zero, and that'll jump you into the zone number field. This is where you enter the, the number of your zone. Now, on a Vista panel, uh, the first open slot on a Vista 15P, 20P, and 21IP will be zone nine. So zones one through eight uh, are mapped to the eight hardwired zones in the alarm cabinet itself. Okay, So the first open zone outside of that that can be changed to an RF zone type or input type uh, is zone nine. So we'll go ahead and hit zero nine. And then to move forward and continue through any of the fields on in programming will be a star key. It'll show you here uh, the summary of what it's showing now with the zone number, zone type, partition, uh, the, the response uh, uh, here, and then, and then you can see RF in the loop. So we'll just star through. You don't need to do anything on that for now. Um, the second. Uh, thing here, we, so it says zone disabled right now, a zero, zero. This will be the zone type, okay? So there's a few different zone types uh, for door and window contacts for the 5811. Um, you can set it to anything you like, but the most common ones would be zero, one, and that would be your entry exit one. So that would be for a front door or maybe a garage entry door uh, or any door that you would use to enter and exit the home. It's going to allow you to, when you enter and the system is armed, it will give you, uh, by default, a 30-second entry delay. And on the way out, after you arm inside, it will give you 60 seconds to exit the space. So uh, we'll assume that this is for an entry-exit door. 
Just so you know, uh, we can do 0, 3 for perimeter. That's the second most common type uh, of, of zone type for the 5811. And basically, this is uh, a perimeter zone. If you think about a perimeter being uh, an instant zone, so a window, uh, maybe a door that you would not need to enter or exit to, to the uh, secured premise. So we'll, we'll set it back to one so we have a delay on it because I'm going to be putting this on our front door. So and then we would hit star the partition. Now we're not going to get too deep into partitions right now. Uh, we only have a single partition here and most commonly there's only single partitions. If you were running a multi-partition system, you could put in the you know partition two or three here, uh, three for the common. Uh, if, if you did have that, for now we're just going to keep it on partition one and hit star. And it's showing the report code now. So contact ID uh, is the language that most uh, central stations would require you to set your system to. And the one that we use here at Alarm Grid, uh, all you need is anything but a zero in that first field. So this is the first partition, the second partition. We don't need to report the second partition. So having the double zeros is fine. We do want to report partition one. So having zero one is also fine. We can just hit star here. Um, now we have the input type. So it already knows, it already happened to choose RF trans as input three. If you were to put a one here, let's see here. Uh, it, it already actually knows that we have this as, as a uh, RF sensor. So we're, we're just gonna keep the three here and go ahead and hit star. And that will accept that and show the seven digit serial number, okay? So you can manually enter this in just by looking at the back side of the sensor. And there's this an A for alpha and then a seven digit number beneath the barcode. So uh, basically what we can do here is, uh, well, <laughs> as I went to go manually enter that in, because I faulted the zone, it actually just entered the, the serial number automatically. You can hear it chiming again. So that's another way to do it, and actually probably the best way to do it. Um, it on certain sensors, like motion detectors, uh, it's a little easier to manually enter. But in this case, just by removing the magnet away from the unit, we have, we've, we've now tripped the, the device three times, and you've heard that triple beep now. And it's already moved over to the loop number, and now you can do it one more time and it'll actually lock it right in. You hit the star key. Now the 5811 uses loop one. Other sensors may use different loops. So that's why auto enrolling is good because it'll actually learn the loop number in as well. If you do that with the motion or smoke or thing like that using the tamper, you wanna make sure to reassign the loop but we can get into that later. Uh, for this one, we now have the summary screen with the proper info. You'll see it's a little, it's slightly different than we had before um, on the summary screen when we first entered and it'll say program alpha. You could hit a one and go into this uh, custom alpha field where you could give it a uh, description as far as a name and how, it'll how it enunciates on the system. Uh, at Alarm Grid, we, all we offer free programming to our customers. So if you, if you do have monitoring with us, you can send us a list of your zones and we can we'd be happy to program the alpha descriptors for you. It is a little bit easier on our remote programming uh, interface rather than doing it on the system here manually. So feel free to do that. Otherwise, you can go into the alpha field and customize your, your alpha descriptor there. For now, we'll hit zero for no, and it'll jump you back to the enter zone number. Now, this is really important so you don't get stuck in a loop here in the submenu. So when it says enter zone number, you're back at the, at the entry point to this submenu, which is the star 56 menu. So uh, in order to get out of this, to get back out to the first level of programming, to kind of the, the main menu of programming, you would just hit zero, zero. You'll see it says zero, zero to quit there. Now we're out, it's back to enter star or pound. If you had any other programming to do, you could go ahead and hit star in the command to get into that field and make the adjustment. Otherwise, you can hit star nine, nine to exit programming. And that will basically exit us out and now we're back at the home screen. Uh, we can go ahead and toggle chime real quick by entering our master code followed by nine. Anytime you exit programming, it will automatically disable Chime. So you always want to re-enable that after you exit programming. Now we can take our 5811 and do some do some testing here. By removing the magnet from the con from the contact, you'll see it says hit star for faults, and you're hearing the other voice panel that's connected to the same panel here enunciating. Um, and yeah, basically we're showing faults here now. You can hit star. 
on the keypad, it'll say Fault 9, and that is Zone 9, the sensor that we just programmed. So we can go ahead and close up our keypad, and that's how you program your RF transmitter, specifically the 5811 contact, to your Vista 20P, 21IP, or 15P using the, uh, the 6160 RF keypad. If you have any other questions for us, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com and subscribe to our channel.